This is a video of 20 serous cystadenomas described using iota terminology. My name is Suzanne Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. If you're new to this, you might want to watch this video first, how to diagnose adnexal masses using iota terminology, simple descriptors and simple rules. And you'll find this video in the same playlist. Another video in this playlist is IOTA paper suggested reading, which is very important. The first paper to be published by the IOTA group was in 2000, uh, and it describes terms, definitions and measurements to describe adnexal pathology. I will show you 20 cases of a serous cystadenoma, which is a common adnexal abnormality. When you first see a cyst like this, you might immediately know it's likely to be a serous cystadenoma as it fits one of the iota simple descriptors. A unilocular anechoic tumour with regular walls and maximum diameter of less than 10 centimetres is likely to be a simple cyst or cystadenoma. To remind you of the simple descriptors, there are four benign descriptors and two malignant descriptors. And you can pause the video and have a careful read. The typical appearance of a serous cystadenoma is unilocular, although it can be multilocular with fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, anechoic cyst contents, though occasionally it contains low level echogenicity, a regular internal cyst wall, minor vascularity, a score of 1 or 2, and no shadowing. The benign and malignant features for simple rules are that if there are only benign features like it's a unilocular cyst with no solid material or a smooth multilocular cyst less than 10 centimetres with no solid material, those are benign features and in the absence of malignant features the cyst is likely to be benign. Just to remind you of the simple rules, you can pause the video and have a good read. Now I'm going to show you some examples of serous cystadenomas and all these cysts uh, are confirmed by histology. This example is a multilocular cyst. You can see that there is more than one locule. There are several locules. There is no solid material, though in the simple uh, one image that's difficult to prove to you. The cyst contents are anechoic. There was no vascularity and a little bit of shadowing. So this cyst was multilocular, with no solid material, anechoic, no vascularity and some shadowing. In this example, the cyst is multilocular. Here's one and there's another locule with a thin regular septum with no solid material, anechoic cyst contents and no posterior shadowing. Always look carefully for shadowing behind the cyst. So that cyst was multilocular with no solid material, it was anechoic with no shadowing. This cyst is unilocular, it consists of one locule, no solid material, anechoic cyst contents and no shadowing. This is a video showing a multilocular cyst with no solid material, anechoic cyst contents and some shadowing. You can see the shadowing posteriorly just there. You can see it's entirely regular. Multilocular, no solid material, anechoic with some posterior shadowing. This cyst is multilocular, one main locule with another small locule. No solid material, minor vascularity just there and no shadowing. It's important when you put colour Doppler on that you have the sensitivity set correctly, a PRF of 0.6 reducing to 0.3 and adjusting the sensitivity, but there'll be another video specifically about this. This cyst is unilocular, it's a single locule, there's no solid material. If there were solid material that would make it unilocular solid, but this is unilocular. Minor vascularity, probably a little bit of vascularity in the cyst wall here, and no shadowing. Behind the cyst we can't see any shadows.
This is a cyst seen in two planes, in a longitudinal plane and a transverse plane. And again, you can see that it's unilocular with no solid material. The internal cyst wall is regular. Low level echogenicity in the cyst contents and no shadowing. So it shows that some serous cyst adenomas can have low level echogenicity rather than be anechoic. This cyst again is multilocular, no solid material, anechoic with no shadowing. Mostly the serous cyst adenomas I've shown you have been quite small, but this one was very large. It was 175 millimetres in diameter. And again, it's unilocular with no solid material. This is artifact. The cyst was in fact anechoic with minor vascularity and no shadowing. This cyst is multilocular, no solid material, anechoic cyst contents, although there's the odd little bit of echogenicity, minor vascularity, maybe two, and no shadowing. This was another large serous cyst adenoma, 120 millimetres, and it was unilocular with no solid material, anechoic cyst contents, no vascularity, and no shadowing. Once a cyst is larger than 100 millimetres or 10 centimetres, you have to be very careful that you might not be able to see a little bit of solid material that's very distant from the probe. Around 10 centimetres is about as far as you can see. And beyond that, you can call it unilocular, but you have to be careful to point out that this is slightly beyond what you can see. This cyst is multilocular with no solid material, anechoic cyst contents, no vascularity and no shadowing. Again, a multilocular cyst with no solid material. There are some slight irregularities here on the septum, but their height is less than 3 mm, so they do not count as solid material, but they are an irregular internal wall instead. Anechoic cyst contents, minor vascularity, a score of two, and no shadowing, looking behind the cyst, no shadowing. Another multilocular cyst, often they are just bilocular, not very many locules. No solid material, anechoic, minor vascularity, a score of about two, and no shadowing. This cyst looks slightly differently. There are more than two locules. This is a multilocular cyst with a little bit of solid material in its centre um, with anechoic cyst contents, moderate vascularity here, a score of three, and there's a little bit of shadowing, just some shadowing there and some shadowing there. So this cyst is different to the ones we've seen before, but it is a serous cyst adenoma, provenom histology. It is multilocular solid with anechoic contents, moderate vascularity and shadowing. This was another large cyst, 105 millimetres, and it is unilocular with no solid material, anechoic cyst contents, no vascularity and no shadowing. This cyst looks slightly different. It's a unilocular cyst, no solid material, low level echogenicity and no shadowing. I can't comment on vascularity as you can see because there's no Doppler uh, turned on this image. Another unusual looking serous cyst adenoma. It's multilocular, several locules. There is no solid material anechoic cyst contents. The vascularity, you have to be careful whether that is part of the lesion or whether it is a vessel next to the lesion. In this case, I felt that this was next to the lesion, so there was no vascularity in the lesion itself. No vascularity is a score of one and no shadowing, no shadowing behind. Sometimes cyst adenomas can be bilateral and on the right side we had a unilocular cyst. This is not solid material, this is a bit of normal ovarian crescent at the periphery. 
On the left side was a bilocular cyst with a little bit of low-level echogenicity on this locule, but anechoic in that locule. And in the transverse plane, you can see the right and the left ovaries uh, abutting each other, and you can see some shadowing posteriorly. So then on the right is a unilocular cyst, the left is a multilocular cyst, there was no solid material, low-level echogenicity, and some shadowing. And these were bilateral serous cyst adenomas. And again, a slightly unusual looking serous cyst adenoma. It's multilocular. It has more than one locule, so it's multilocular. Uh, there's no solid material. Again, this septum is very slightly irregular, but they are not papillations. They are not solid material, just a slightly irregular internal cyst wall. Anechoic cyst contents and minor to moderate vascularity, a score of two to three, and some shadowing. So the typical appearance of a serous cyst adenoma is a unilocular or sometimes multilocular cyst with fewer than 10 locules, no solid material, anechoic cyst contents or occasionally low-level echogenicity, a regular internal cyst wall, minor vascularity, either none, one or two, minor, and no shadowing, though sometimes there is shadowing and that's a benign feature. So in conclusion, when you see a cyst and you think it's a serous cyst adenoma, it might be obvious as a benign simple descriptor. Or if it's not obvious, if the cyst is unilocular or multilocular with no solid material and no malignant features, it would look benign on simple rules. Often there is some shadowing um, with or without no vascularity and these are benign features. Take care with cysts that are larger than 10 centimetres because there may be a papillation or some solid material that you cannot see at that distance. And the differential diagnosis of a serous cyst adenoma would be a physiological cyst or possibly a mucinous cyst adenoma. This is my report performer, which I use to categorise adnexal masses and to start to make uh, an indication of whether they're likely to be benign or malignant. Thank you.